Li Sun Shi Shinkendo is a very authentic Japanese sword martial art. Um, Kendo and Yaido are very, very popular sword martial arts as well as Toyama or Yu. But Kendo focuses on sparring, Yaido focuses on drawing. Shinkendo brings it all back together. Ichi. Shinkendo is different from the other martial arts that I've seen in that it was very, very focused on the jitsu aspect. Jitsu meaning the warfare aspect of a martial art. I got interested in Shinkendo because of how authentic it was. A lot of, I've done a lot of different martial arts, and a lot of them have a you know, sport aspect or competition aspect, and that just didn't appeal to me. It was very, you know, oh, you do this, you get a point. Don't worry if they hit you, if you hit them first, you got the point. And that just didn't sit right with me, because I, to me that wasn't a very, very traditional martial art. When, when I found out about this martial art, I almost couldn't believe it existed. And from day one of training, and there wasn't any doubt that this is the martial art I want to specialize in. The feeling I get when I come into the class is just remarkable because you come in and one by one, these aren't just random students that are coming in. You get a while to, I take a while to get to know each student, find out more, for, find about more, find out more about him or her, and. So they become my friends, you know, the friends that are coming in the dojo. And so it's always great to see them, but it's great just to sit there and train with them and have everyone helping each other. Shinkendo is becoming very important in my life because not only does it, I, do I get great joy out of teaching and even learning more and more, but the atmosphere at, you know, at, the, at the dojos, regardless of where you go, is very, very collaborative. Everyone's it's not a competition, there's no one going in there with huge ego saying, hey, I can beat any of you. It's very, very collaborative. It's a very, very fun-loving environment. And just to have, have that with the traditional swordsmanship, it just, both those together, just make me happy every single time I come in. When I first pull a Shinken, a real sword, a life sword, out in class, it's there's just joy that comes over my mind. And not, not joy because, ooh, I, can, I get a hold of a real sword, but just the joy of, this was the way it was done. You trained with the wood swords, everything you've done with a wood sword, you can do with a real sword. And just the fact, it just immerses me in the history of it. My goals with Shinkendo in the future would have to be just exposing it to as many people as possible. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, and that's fine. Everyone's unique. But I want to give people the option of, you know, if you want to learn very traditional Japanese swordsmanship, 